welcome to Trace and Vietic and <laughs> Turn that up. So this is a Hornby platform, and I want to create something similar like this for the layout. I've been doing some measurements, and I'll be needing about 1.7 meters worth of uh, platform for each for the two middle platforms. Then for one by the wall will be even longer. So I bought these Pico LK62 platform edge concrete type. So you get five of these in the kit. Uh, and, uh, and this is what they like. So you've got place for the plastic to go on the top, place to hold stuff in places and places to clip it together. Hire a new image, pr a prop re replica. So that just clipped together like that. And that's, that even holds itself up. I have seen these used in so many different ways. So you put one eye for side and you go and get a nice platform like that. So, they also make end pieces, but today I'm just going to guinea pig in trying to make a middle. I used Alton Models in Alton, uh, Hampshire. He's a really nice uh, shop. And my plastic's too big for my guillotine. I'm glad I, <laughs> I prepared everything. Yeah, he's a very good shop. So if you're in the Hampshire area, pop down there. And uh, he's a very good shop, Holton Model. So I went there and spoke to him about the platform. The first thing I'm going to try is this thick card, the plastic card. If this doesn't work, I'll then be trying to get... What else am I going to try? I'm not quite sure. So hopefully that just sorted out that message there. So I'm trying plastic card. For another thought I have had is to trim off all the plastic bits and just stick it to a sheet of wood. My first question is, will my guillotine actually cut the plastic card? So just try to line that up to a straight line. And just run it backwards and forwards. 
and dust that cut it. And the answer is yes. So that's the first question answered. So I can now get these up here. and see how it looks. And just for guinea pigging, that looked quite nice. So I think I might actually try making it a proper little length. So the top of this, of this complete piece, is just under, just it sits sixty seven millimeters. So if I measure how wide that is, that's half a centimeter. That's half a centimeter. So if I try to cut the plastic at um six, I just need to work this one out. My brain's long gone as my computer was giving me headaches, had driver issues, had YouTube making changes, had all kinds of stuff going wrong, so just loading that up. So I said 6.7 centimeters minus uh, one centimeter going to give me 5.7 centimeters. So Luckily for me, this is all lined up. So I want to go for, that would be about, right, so that's, that should give me a good measurement if I can actually get myself into frame. Yeah, a uh, pro uh, prop replica. I'm good. Just had a few computer problems. Computers are good when they work, but when they go wrong, they go wrong with a vengeance. How are you today? So that should be about right, which it is. So move that across there. Move that across there. And we can have a little try with assembling this. So. That actually looked pretty good. So today I'm going to use super glue. I'm trying this Gorilla glue. As this is old guinea pigging at the moment, I'm quite happy for this to go wrong. So if I put a bit of glue along there, Go, glue's coming out. Make sure not to glue myself or anything else. So put the glue on there. I'll line that up slightly off on purpose and then let that glue. I've been thinking about top surfaces as well. I haven't got around to watching great if a great model railway challenge yet, but uh, all recorded on my Virgin books. So I'll get around to watching that at a later date. So I've got this material picked up from Hobbycraft and I have seen uh, another model railway YouTuber, an American one, using this to create roads and stuff. 
look out for surface. I think it should be quite a good job. So, but looking at that, it will cover up some of the detail. So, it's something I might consider. I'm also thinking I can just paint it. So let's see what the computer's saying now. Yeah, I've got seven people watching. Hello to everyone who's watching. Cheers. I, I will get around to watching it soon for um, Great Model Railway Challenge. I think it's a brilliant show and does miracles to the hobby. It may... It it put the hobby into the playground, which is always a good thing. So, although I haven't watched it yet, I will get around to watching it. With glues for this, you can actually use Plastic World. But um, I wanted to try Super Glue for change. As I knew that that would give me almost immediate uh, results. So just line this all up. And I think that that's looking good. Now, the uh, stuff I was trying was Hobbycraft. Uh, Foam sheet. I think wet and dry paper will give a good um, result as well. But a few things I need to consider is this is the width I got for the platforms. And we've got these staircases, if I don't destroy it, which fit quite nicely in the middle. So if I position that like that, we can see it does look pretty good. So, yeah, um, this does look like quite a nice little setup. Uh, I think I might try painting for top at a later date. As uh, that looked quite good like that. And this plastic is pretty strong. You can see I bend it and it stay quite firm. So there are actually little blocks just there where but we can put support material in. But that's a bit too thick for that. When I go down to alter model nets, I'll need to pick up something thinner. But this does look pretty good. So I know it's just been a short stream tonight, and I do apologise for all the technical problems. Uh, YouTube had made a few changes, and I made the major mistake of not making sure my drivers were up to date. So when I pressed start stream, I got an error message. Then I tried it again, got to error message, and read it, and it said... I need to update for dri drivers. Then I updated for drivers. Then I went into the stream software. You might have seen that I was popping up and down. That was me trying for new streaming software on YouTube. And it wasn't wanting to play because I didn't see the big button on the new portal. But everything is now looking looking better. So. Actually, I have an idea. It's all well and good saying that looked good, but I should have a person about. I do have a person. So we can see how that looks. He should have a spade. But putting that there like that, Uh, he looked pretty good there, so, so that's uh, that there. Saturday we have got uh, a running session 
I've uh, got an additional camera. I know I like to get cameras. I picked up one of these lovely little GoPros. So I've done a filming session of a railway from the my little Sony camera on the wagon. I then got uh, my GoPro placed uh, on the station. So we start off with a ride around the layout and I talk about what we got planned where. Then after that, uh, we watch some trains coming in and out my main station. So it's all pretty good. So thank you to everyone for watching. Uh, thank you for being patient, uh, and thank you everybody for your time and comments, and I'll see you all uh, next time. So I'll see you on Saturday for the running session, and then I'm not sure what I'm doing next Wednesday. Oh yeah, this is the last live stream till first of. December as I start uni again next week so thank you for watching and I'll see you all next time thank you very much Richard